a step-by-step -step guide to the Chochotomy procedure. This video will demonstrate how to open cuticular compartments in arthropods where the live content can then be used for physiological experiments. Here we will use the antenna of Drosophila melanogaster to demonstrate this technique. Clean half of a blade with alcohol and water. Snap it into quarters. Melt a small piece of soft dental wax onto a 12 mm cover slip. Place the cover slip in a 35 mm petri dish filled with Drosophila saline. Pick up a droplet of resin about the size of the fly's head with a wire tip. Cold anesthetize the flies for less than 30 seconds, lie the fly on its side, cut off the head with a blade, and place the head on its posterior surface. Apply a droplet of resin to completely cover the head. Then place a droplet of water on the resin and apply the curing light for one minute. Remember to protect your eyes with goggles. After curing, wipe off the water with a tissue and apply a drop of saline. Under a microscope, orient the fly head and using a blade, cut through the joint between the second and third antennal segments with a swift and firm motion. Trim the cured resin chip and transfer to the holding dish. Insert the chip into the dental wax and the saline with a cut surface appropriately oriented. Next we show a variant of the procedure to open the third antennal segment without covering the olfactory sensilla. Place a droplet of resin on a petri dish lid. Then place a head removed as in the previous section on the drop and allow it to sink so that just the sides of the head are covered. Turn on the curing light for 10 seconds. Take a very small drop of resin and apply to the lateral edges of both antennae. Cover the head with a drop of water, cure for one minute, Wipe off the water and apply a drop of saline, then slice with the blade, trim and place as described in the first section. Next we show the free aristochotomy procedure, which opens the dorsal part of the second antennal segment while not immobilizing the joint between the second and third segments. As in the last section, allow a head to sink into a droplet of resin, cure for 10 seconds. Then take a strip of cellophane and place it over both third antennal segments. Apply a very small drop of resin dorsal to the antennae. Allow the resin to creep over half of the second antennal segment and then turn on the curing light for 10 seconds. Do not allow the resin to flow over the joint between the second and third segments. Remove the strip of cellophane, add a drop of water and cure for one minute. After curing, wick off the water with a tissue, apply a drop of saline and cut approximately along a line through the dorsal third of the second antennal segment. After trimming the section, then mount as shown previously.